This is a six-year-old gilding. His name is Banjo. I've been working with him for a while. I was just showing off here how a person could ride him who is disabled. Although I wouldn't recommend this horse for a beginner. He is a little bit on the hot side. On, on a scale from an Arabian being a 10 to a workhorse being a 1, I'd probably put him on about a seven and I've gotten him down to probably about a four now but he is a fun horse to ride and, and if you know how to ride a horse he's one of the best ones I've ever had believe it or not his cue to lay down is just to say the word lay he knows he needs to lay down here since it's in this arena but if, if He's out in the open, he's not sure about laying down. All I ever would have to do besides tell him to lay would be to tap him with a little stick I carry with me. And when it comes to getting him to move over for mounting, the same thing, I just use my stick to direct where I want his body to go, and if he doesn't go that direction, I'll start tapping on him, so I usually just have to point to his body with my stick, and he'll usually move over. Plus, he already knows what's going to happen anyways. I can move if you want me to. Move and do it again. Better grass over there. Right now I'm saying the word lay, and I say it just like this, lay, 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 and if he doesn't start laying down by the third time, then I start tapping on the shoulder with my stick, and that should be all I would ever take with this horse. And, I, and it also should never be an issue with the horse laying down with, without you wanting him to. If he ever tries to do something like that, you just simply you know, spank him on the butt and make him move forward. Banjo is a registered Missouri Foxtrotter. He's a one owner horse, meaning only one person's owned him besides me. He was raised here locally next to me. He, uh, another thing about Banjo is he has no trot. Even though he's a Missouri Foxtrotter, he does nothing but a run and walk. He never has trotted with me, so I just never did make him trot. He does a gait that kind of resembles a Foxtrot, but it just has no bounce in the back. and. And he has no pace either. His gates are just just perfect for trail riding. He's one of those horses you just don't have to worry about. His gates just it's just there, and it's just what he does naturally, and not something you'll ever have to worry about. 
He also has great feet. I haven't needed to put shoes on him. I took his bridle off right here. I didn't really have a plan on what I was doing. I was just trying to show off while the camera was going, so I thought I'd try to ride him around without a bridle. I'd really never tried it before, but he did great with it. It looks like he's getting away from me here, but I'm really just pushing him over with my hand and then pulling him over with my hand the other way.
back in. Oh, I can't. Horse won't get out. camera doesn't show how steep this hill is I'm going down right now but he still stays in his gates well going downhill he doesn't change anything whether he's going downhill or uphill or anywhere you know, even different terrain doesn't change his gauge he just does the same thing all the time <laughs> One man hay ride. <laughs> <laughs>
hung up in the wheel. <laughs> He's a handicap, folks, but not physically. <laughs>